So, Al, you've been at this for a couple of years. <laughs> and you, you went through the transition from what we would call conventional audio to the digitization. Right. And watched the quality go down for exactly. a while here. Yeah. Yep. What's your feeling on, I mean, as a, as a producer and as an engineer and as someone who knows what music should sound like? Which, okay, we haven't got to the question, Sorry. so we're okay. Yeah. So, um, what, what's your feeling on, on the effect of the conventional MP3 format on the listening, on the consumer listening experience, and, and has that been a good thing? Well, my opinion, uh, if it's worth anything, I think it, the MP3 is dreadful sounding, you know, and and I think we've dumbed down the listening uh, audience that we have out there so much that they're starting to prefer the MP3 over a high resolution. I mean, I, I think there have been some tests that I've heard about where they've uh, they played MP3s and then played the high re resolution, and, and the MP3 is kind of worn out because that's what people are li used to listening to. So, yeah, I, I think, you know, when I first started, we were recording directly uh, to uh, mono and two-track two -track tape, and, and then everything went to vinyl, and, and the quality was incredible. So I still have a vinyl system set up in my house, and I'll get a, a CD... And then I'll, if they're putting out vinyl, I'll get a vinyl. And, and to compare the two, it's, I mean, it's like night and day. I mean, it's just amazing, the difference in quality. So, yeah, I, you know, I, we need to do better. I try. I'm doing everything now as much as I can at 192 to try to keep the quality up. I also um, go, when we're mastering, I go to the mastering place and uh, sit with the mastering engineer to make sure that the quality is great and he's not compressing or, or whatever. And then hopefully I'll get, uh, you know, a, a test and, and be able to listen to it to make sure that uh, the quality is still as good as it can possibly be. Can it be better? It certainly can. It's it's just not as good as it can be, and it should get better. When you heard the when I brought the player in the other day, and you got to hear what what could come off a recorded player, what was what was your reaction? My my reaction and my assistant's reaction, uh, Chandler, uh, we both went, "Whoa, that's pretty damn good." I mean, it was really good, and it was like what we're used to hearing when we're recording. The quality was that good. It was great. I was very, very impressed. Okay. What, I mean, do you, in terms of getting consumers, you were, you were talking about that study earlier. Do you think when consumers are exposed to, it was like we were playing um, Metallica Sandman earlier before you got here, and Barack was listening and he's like, I've never heard like this. I can hear the gating. You know what the gating is. Uh, right, right. I don't know what gate. I mean, yeah, I don't know yeah. It's a limiter or whatever. Right. I'm just, I have a vague understanding. He said he was hearing production that he had not heard. He could actually hear the production in the thing. Do you think consumers, they, they may be used to MP3, but what do you think the prognosis is for consumers when they're exposed to high quality and getting to hear what you're actually doing in this room when they can have it in their pocket? Years ago, it was, you could hear somebody take a hit off a joint in the background. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying it's true, you know, on some of the vinyls. I did some of those Jefferson Airplane things. And the fingers on the guitar, they, and, and the, the, the tips of the, of, the, um, of the sticks hitting the cymbals, you know. You hear a little, t -t -t -t. and, you know, the, the, it's a whole different listening experience. And once they get involved in that, they, these people then become high fi addicts, you know, then they're going out and buying better equipment, higher equipment. Hey, come listen to my system. 